Anthony Joshua against Francis Ngannou. Two of the most devastating punches from their respective division. We are in probably the golden age of boxing. This is just what boxing fans have been crying out for for years. Francis brought something to the boxing ring that I certainly never expected, and that was that he could actually box. Oh, he catches him off guard! Francis Ngannou has just scored a knockdown against the heavyweight champ! For AJ, I think he's going to be in a tough fight. I think this is knockout chaos, because I think it will be a knockout. They've both got bombs in their hands. And it's going to be interesting to see how the fight develops. This is such an incredible opportunity for boxing. I've never known anybody to walk into a sport, in my opinion, beat Tyson Fury that night. So now we take him very seriously. This man is going to be the undisputed heavyweight world champion. But he's doing it the difficult way, going through obstacles and what some might call immovable objects. We expect fire, but at the end of the day, the flaming fist of Francis will finish Joshua. I'm just a beginner out here that's going to train really hard and do everything and come as an underdog to win the fight. Maybe. I would do something that nobody has done before. I heard that he doesn't have a chin. I hope I had an opportunity to test that out. That's my that's my wish. Every fight leads to somewhere. So this fight is my everything, my soul, my spirit, my mind, my body. And we'll see where it leads me. Realistically, how I train is how I fight. So if I get victory in my training camp, I'm sure I'll get victory on the night. So that's all I'm focused on. He's seen people like me, I've seen people like him many a times before. But it's just his mind that I have to conquer in the ring. You have to take someone's soul, you have to take their spirit. And I'm looking forward to the challenge for sure. If you can imagine the winner of this fight facing the winner of Fury against Usyk, and you know, get ready for an unbelievable event. And when these two come together and that bell rings, it's going to be a sight to behold in Riyadh. This is the moment we've all been waiting for in knockout chaos. What's good, y'all? This is 1T, and today we are appreciating the Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou fight. Both walkdowns were fire as they both gave that cold stare walk into the ring looking like two beasts entering a cage. Also, shout out to the pyrotechnics with the fireworks, making me feel like I'm watching WWE out there. So far, Riyadh season has been treating fighters right. Once they get into the ring, it was all business. I mean, from the way that they stared at each other, had us hype for the chaos we were hoping to see. And man, did we get that. First thing I liked immediately was Francis' reflex with an immediate counter after AJ's jab to the body. Francis proved that the first counter wasn't a fruit as he repeats the same left hook. Now we see AJ is a little more cautious than he was before. Francis initiates the fight again and we see that Francis is left hook ready for AJ's jab, which AJ picked up very well. AJ then plays more chess as he goes to the body to see that hook again. And then he reads right, so he sees the first hook and evades the second. AJ was out there reading the hook like a book assignment. Now you could see him casually reading chapters and all. You could tell AJ was starting to get into his bag after landing to the body while slipping his jab. Later on, Francis finally switches it and throws the right hook and even though AJ blocked it, you can see that arm having the power to end AJ's whole existence. But that don't mean it will do it. This fight was so hyped that everyone forgot this was still AJ's turf. I would not expect a champion boxer to be a UFC fighter in the octagon, so why would I expect vice versa in the ring? They look for different things out there. Looking at the fight now, I can see the setup that led to the first knockdown. But at the time, I was simply like, Knockdown! 
right here. Not only was AJ able to measure, but he also saw that right hand go down. And with him not moving his head off the line much as well, it pretty much made Francis target practice for Joshua. Francis goes down, but of course he recovers. But you know, you can see it in his face. Bro was just in complete shock like. So that's what that feels like. He may be out his element, but he can still adjust as we see that right hand is up now. Round two starts and you can see that Francis is more twitchy than before. It gets very obvious who's more comfortable now. AJ is on a roll tonight with catching flaws cause he notices Francis hand going down immediately after the jab. So he answers that with a nice straight right. AJ continues to measure the left so he can properly swim without getting wet. And the combination of that and Francis left hand going down after a jab, it was only a matter of time. Francis struggles to get up this time, cause this time it wasn't just a flash knockdown, Francis was legitimately rocked with that one. And the moment he got back in the fight, his fate was sealed. AJ baited that left hand to go down again, and it was lights out for Francis. This fight made AJ look like a superhuman to most and others thought that this is what should have happened the first time he went up against a champion level boxer. I personally thought that he needed to fight C and B level fighters to get his skills up. But I'm also pretty sure that that bread was an offer that nobody was going to refuse either so it is what it is. Still love the fight though and this was just moments that I loved before the fight and in the fight. Like if you like the video, subscribe if you like the content. Until next time, y'all be easy.